Hi, my name is Corey. Welcome to the Healthy Families NIS video training series. During this video, we will review the referral form. The best practice standards set by Healthy Families America require all Healthy Families programs to measure the length of time from referral to initial contact and from the initial contact to the offer of services. The new referral form will capture all the efforts made to determine a family's eligibility. If the family is eligible for the program, then the case will continue to the screen form, engagement log, and so forth as the case progresses. Let's take a look at the MIS homepage. We are using a test site, so all the data you will see is fake. First, there is a new Upcoming Changes section to the homepage. At any time, you can minimize this section by clicking here. And if you need to review the upcoming changes again, click here on the red exclamation mark. We highly recommend all users read this thoroughly, as it is temporary and will only appear for the first few weeks after the referral form is published. The toolbar is different as well. Where there was once a link to the new screen form, there is now a link called Referrals. Click on Referrals to access the referral landing page. We can see all the referrals for which services were offered, the active referrals, and the completed referrals. New referrals can also be added here. Let's enter a new referral. Click here on the New Referral button. The Search Person Profile screen appears. Enter as much demographic information as you can. This will help to eliminate duplicate person profiles. As usual, if you see a match, click on the details to see if there was already a person profile created. If it is a match, use the existing profile to move forward, or if there is no match, then click here to create a new person profile. Again, enter as much information as you have available to create the detailed profile. Once the profile is complete, click Submit to save the profile and to refocus your screen on the referral form. The PC1 info appears at the top. Enter referral date, worker name, referral source type, and name as these are required fields. At this point, you can submit to save and begin to contact the family. Any contact attempts can be captured here by clicking the New Contact Attempt button. Add the date of the contact attempt, the worker who made the attempt, and the contact type. Note whether the contact was made, and be sure to document any notes that pertain to the contact. After all the contact attempts are entered, click the Submit button to return to the referral landing page. Whenever a new contact is made, click the Referral button to access the list of referrals, then click the Edit button to the far right of the PC1 name and add the contact information. Once an outcome has been determined, the referral outcome and the referral outcome date are both entered. Then click Submit at the bottom of the page. We can now see the referral has moved from active to services offered. Click on the Create Screen Form button to enter the screen form. Once the screen form has been completed, the referral will move to the completed referral list and the case will have been created. Referral forms with services not offered will require an appropriate reason to be selected from the drop-down list. However, these referrals will not require a screen form and will also move to the completed referrals list. So that ends our video on the referral form. We hope it was helpful. We appreciate your taking time to view this video. 
It will be posted on our blog along with other training videos and training documents. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.